Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. We had Sonya Deville and Lyra with all the women outside, Shayna, Zoe, Kate, and Katana. It was a pretty good match. Lyra makes her come back, and she ends up surprising Shayna with her dropkick through the ropes. But she's sitting in the ropes, so uh, Sonya sneaks up behind, grabs her, hits her finish, pins her. And then the heels the celebrated Devils, afterwards. The Deville's advocate. The, the crowd wasn't much into this match. Nah, not really. This week we had uh, a video with Nikki Cross, Sister Abigail. She's in therapy with Uncle Howdy. And really it was just her there and he told her that they lied to her and, and ignored her and she suffered in solitude and then she screamed really loud. So she had no interview talking yeah. about her memories of Bray or anything like that. We had Punk coming out for a promo. He said, as of this Saturday night, I saw my surgeon. He says, I'm cleared. Drew, we're going to fight. Get out here and take the beating you deserve. So Drew comes out and he says, I've been waiting for this forever. Nothing is going to stop me from getting in the ring and tearing you apart. Except, he says, for the fact that I don't want to. And Punk says, well, I do. So he goes after Drew. And security hits the ring and separates them. And Drew says, this match is bigger than Green Bay. It's a money match. And he says, uh, you know, I'm not doing this here. Chill out. Calm down, CM Punk. So anyway, out comes Pierce. And he says, the reason he's telling you this is because you guys are not fighting tonight. Drew's reinstated. You're cleared. It's official. CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam. Which, by the way, I guess Drew doesn't have to uh, apologize to those referees. I don't know he what did, that. No, he, he he did backstage. What? Yeah, he did backstage. When? Uh, they had a segment. They didn't show him apologizing, but he was with the refs, and they were all smiling and shaking hands. And so that was the assumption is is that you know that he did backstage. Yeah. So after all that last week, he just apologized this week. It was implied that he did. We didn't actually see it. Why the hell but he's there with the referees. Week? He's there with the referees. Maybe he just paid him off. He's there with the referees and Adam Pierce, and he's smiling, and they're all happy. So yeah. So presumably he, it's the presume the presumption is that he apologized so he could get the match with Punk. So Pierce says, if either of you lay a finger on the other, a match is off. Whoever throws the first punch suspended indefinitely. Yeah, we know how these suspensions. I was going to say that's not much of a threat. We know how these suspensions go, man. How many guys is he suspended and they're always back like in a week? I feel like Drew multiple times. And Braun Breaker, right? Wasn't he suspended? Actually, no. Braun Breaker, he threatened to suspend, but he didn't actually do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because remember he said, if you come back, you're going to be suspended. And then Braun came back and then it was never followed up on. Yeah. So then uh, out comes Seth Rollins. And he is revealed as a special referee. Mm -hmm. And he's wearing this outfit. And... This is supposed to be like a serious thing that he's the referee for this match. And CM Punk can barely keep a straight face because he's trying not to laugh at this guy. He's dancing in this baby blue satin blouse, talking about how he's going to be the referee. I was like, oh, my God. How can you take this seriously? But he is the ref now for this match. Yeah, well, it was common sense, I guess. I guess I predicted that one. Um... Common sense would have been Dom as a referee for Liv versus Rhea. That one's common sense. Well, this is the one that they chose. I remember when I asked, is, is Dom going to referee? And it was like, we have a special referee in another match. So I figured, okay, that's the one. Hmm. And it's, it's, it's Seth in this match, which it turned out to be. Um, yeah, I mean, Dom, you know, Dom's going to turn on Rhea is what I'm looking at. That's how I figure this is going. That's what it looks like to me here. So it, shouldn't, so it doesn't need to be a ref. He needs to just, you know, I guess. Well, we'll see. Well, as a ref, he could turn on her in the match. It'd be a lot easier. He, he, he could. Well, they wanted they wanted Seth as a referee in this match instead, to to uh, facilitate whatever they want to do for the finish. Because obviously they want to protect both guys. Um, so I could see, you know, Seth could aim for one, hit the other. Oh, we're gonna do I mean, we're gonna do Undertaker, Sean, and Brett at SummerSlam to lead to Hell in a Cell. Something. I mean, the the deal literally the base... could recap. You could recreate that entire thing. Yeah, but I mean, the whole thing is, is that like you know they don't want to beat Drew and they don't want to beat Punk, so you use Seth to, uh, to you know basically beat one one of them, you know whether it's a miscue or whatever, and keep the feud going. Because, and I think that the guy, um, I mean, the one he probably should screw is Punk because 
He's already wrestled McIntyre so many times, and he hasn't wrestled Punk yet. So Judgment Day decides they got to divide and conquer, and as soon as they're divided, Dom runs in to live. And he says, everything's going great with me and Rhea, and she goes, yes, it is going great. And he's all flustered. Of course, just then Finn returns, and he says, I leave for 10 seconds, and here you are. And Dom wants to go after Liv, and Finn goes, no, you're going the other direction. So off he goes. Sammy does a promo, says he's taking Braun very seriously. Braun better take him seriously. And then he hears something, and he runs over. He finds out Judgment Day has found Jey Uso. They're beating him up. Sammy makes a save. That sets up a main event for later. Mm. We had Xavier, Tazawa, and Otis versus Occam, Razor, and Karrion Cross. And Otis gets a hot tag. It's his home state. They're going nuts. It's Caterpillar. Woods gets a blind tag. And then Tozawa hits a dive off the post to the floor. Woods runs wild on Cross, but he gets distracted, and he eats an F5. He gets pinned clean. Mm -hmm. So Cross sarcastically claps from afterwards, and then Chad Gable and the Creeds come out. They make fun of the former Alpha Academy. Chad does his promo. He says, Otis, you've assumed a leadership position, but your first plan was to team with Xavier, and you lost. You've got to lead with your mind, but you don't have much of a brain. I am very intelligent, Chad says. Hence, I recruited the Creed brothers. I'm going to give you, Alpha Academy, a chance to rejoin the team. And, of course, Otis says, my answer is still no. So Chad says, well, you're an idiot. And he tells the Creeds to attack him. So the Creeds are beating their asses. Otis makes this big comeback. But they post him. They throw him under the ring apron. They grab chairs. The lights go out. The piano music hits. We get a you fucked up chant. And the Creeps end up coming out on the ramp. Chad turns around, and there's Uncle Howdy in the ring. He hits Chad with Sister Abigail. Lights go out, and that's the end of the segment. Mm -hmm. Is that SummerSlam? Wait, Chad so Gable versus Uncle Howdy in an Olympic uh, year? I don't know. I don't. I, I didn't. I didn't hear that match, but uh, uh, I suppose it's possible. We had Pete Dunn, Bronson Reed, but it never happened. Sheamus hits the ring. He kills Pete Dunn. Sheamus and Reed get in a brawl. Sheamus gives Dunn the 10 beats, goes for the brogue, but Pete bails. Sheamus hits Reed with the brogue kick, lays him out. And then he does a promo later saying, I got no idea what's up with Pete, but uh, maybe we need to get in the ring and find out who the real bruiser weight is. So I guess yeah. that's probably next week. Yeah, they didn't announce it for next week's show, though. We had uh, Rhea meeting with the Judgment Day. And Finn says, I'm sick of this disrespect. Tonight, JD and I are going to take out Sammy and Jay. Next week, I'm going to take out Gunther. Rhea says, who cares about all of that? I told you guys nobody touches Jey Uso. But now Sammy's involved, she says. Shouldn't shouldn't like she want him to be facing Gunther, soft enough Gunther for Damian Priest? She's too fixated on this Jey Uso thing. She can't even think straight. Okay. And she goes, what happened? And Carlito says, should ask Liv. And now Rhea's upset. And she says, Dom, we're going to the ring. So she drags him practically by the ear to the ring. And she grabs the mic and says, Liv, you want him? Come get him. So Liv comes out, and she's in the crowd far away. And she says, I'm not coming to the ring. I got self-control. I can wait till SummerSlam. I came out because I have feelings for Dom, and he has feelings for me. And you can't deny that, Rhea, because a gorgeous man like Dom doesn't go for women who look like you. They go for girls who look like me. And Rhea flips out. She's trying to go after her, but Dom holds her back. And Dom says, listen, Liv, I hate you. You're stupid. Are you deaf? I don't like you. You've ruined my life over and over again. I can't stand you. You've ruined everything for me. And Liv breaks down in tears, starts running off, and Rhea is overjoyed that Dom cut a promo on her. And she ends up grabbing him, pulling his hair, licking his face, and kissing him. Michael Cole is aghast at the desk. Scott and me all flustered, he said. She licked him. And they go backstage all happy. And this ain't gonna end well. Mm -mm. No, it's not gonna end well. Yeah, they can't. They can't cut off like the the, the Liv Morgan Dominic thing. I mean, it's just uh, it's too. This strong. is absolutely not the end. Yeah. Oh, of course not. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.